Father, we ask you will stir up our spirits. You will quicken us, O oh Lord. Let your word bring blessings to our lives. Let your spirit brood upon us. All that we are believing you for for this year, Lord, by faith we receive in Jesus' name. We shall mount up with wings as eagles. Even beyond the realm of the eagles, we shall fly. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Hallelujah. You know, knowledge is power. Um we used to say that um, the birds that fly highest is the eagle and that's why we talk about swearing like eagle and so on and so forth and the man of God said he was saying that in the church and the young people in the church began to google and said sir you are wrong. That there are 10 other birds that fly higher than eagle. That is the power of knowledge. You can begin to say something for several years. <laughs> and because that is the level of the knowledge then. And that's why today, if you are ministering among young people, be careful what you say. Before you finish that sermon, maybe we're asking them to hold their phone in the church in fact it's supposed to off their phone in church amen because whatever you want to preach pam, 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 if you are wrong they say pastor is wrong hallelujah so they can there is knowledge uh so <clears throat> ego is not the, the highest in flights among birds so go and do the research of others but the most important thing is that god is taking you beyond the imaginations of men Every calculation of the level anybody has ever been in your generation, you are going beyond that. I say you are going beyond that level in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, in our Bible reading, we have read from Esther chapter 4, and of course, it is a story of what happened and how God fought for a generation of people how god vindicated a man how god did substitution that what somebody has intended to do to end the life of a man god turned it around that the same thing that he had plotted he end up ending in the same gallow that they had prepared that is our god that is what god can do and that is what we should expect that this period of fasting and prayer we are going to see the manifestation of the almighty god in the way we have never seen in our lives in the name of jesus christ hallelujah so we have read the story the characters you see in that chapter uh, for you will see somebody who had connived with the king called Haman in order to destroy the Jews, the Israelites. And not that alone, this hatred started with a jealous hatred against one man called Mordecai. And uh, because of that, he wanted because Mordecai as a Jew. There are some things that Mordecai will not do. There are some things that are idolatry in nature. There are some compromises that Mordecai will not bow to. And that's why he hated Mordecai. He wanted to exterminate Mordecai. But now, instead of to deal with Mordecai alone, 
he decided to make sure that all the Jews in all the provinces where King Aceros was reigning, he planned to terminate, you know, all the Jews. That was the, uh, uh, that was the plan. But we saw another character there who happens to be Esther the queen. And this Esther also happens to be a Jew. And the person that Aman hated, the uh, Mordecai, happens to be his uncle. He was the one that raised Esther. And by the time they were brought into captivity, you know, taken from the land of Israel, you know, Mordecai was still taking care of Esther. And so, when it happened, you know, the context that happened that Vashti was removed from position and Esther became the queen of the land. And in that instance, now Esther did not know what was going on. She didn't know the plot that was going on. But Mordecai, when he heard that Ammon has hatched his plot, and a day has been fixed that all the Jews in the province of the king are to be killed in one day. And Bible says that Mordecai, you know, tore his garment, put ashes upon his head. So when the queen heard that your uncle is mourning, and she was wondering why is my uncle mourning, listen to this. You see, many a times when you are comfortable, you don't know who is suffering outside. Many a times when you are rich, you don't know who is poor outside there. You know, so many people are in their comfort zone and they don't know what is happening to people that are very close to them. But the danger there is that now the evil they thought will not touch them is still coming upon them. And that is exactly when Esther find out uncle what is happening what's happening go and ask you know she's in the palace she can't leave the palace and say i want to go and visit my uncle now she sent people to go and find out what was going on and uh, they told and told look this is the plan of Ammon. and esther said well i'm sorry there are rules and regulations customs and culture in the kingdom if the king does not invite you you cannot go in to see the king in order to make a plea, the one you said that you go and do, to go and plea on behalf of the Jews. And so, because of that, it is impossible. There is a custom here. Let me tell you. Now, you see, there is what you can do to vacate every form of custom. As a matter of fact, I am speaking on vacating satanic order. And if you don't want to use that topic, you can call it reversing evil decree. Anyone you like? vacating satanic order or reversing evil decree now let me run with reversing evil decree this morning shout hallelujah that is you are to reverse you are to vacate any evil decision that has been taken that has been made you are to change it you are to turn it around and Mordecai told Esther ah, he said hey don't think you'll be saved in the king's palace. Because the decree of the, of the, of the Pasha, the decree cannot change. If the king has signed it, it doesn't matter who is wrong. By the time they began to trace, killing all the Jews, they will remember that the queen in the palace also is a Jew. Don't think you are going to be saved there. You know, at times when we ask you to intercede for our nation, Nigeria, when we have insurgencies in the north, kidnapping in the north, killings in the north, you know, people in the southwest here, we, are com we were complacent. Is that not so? We feel that it cannot come to us. It is the northern Wahala. It is the northern problem. May I ask you, is it now the northern problem alone? Are you, are you following me? Now, you see, when we're supposed to pray, and say god we want to this we, we stand against a particular policy we stand against a particular evil so people feel that i am comfortable it's not going to happen to me all right i don't uh, nobody can kidnap me i don't have any problem now you can see that kidnapping in nigeria it is not only the rich that is being kidnapped hallelujah praise the lord Apology to Ikiti people. 
If you want to kidnap people, is it Ekiti you're supposed to go and kidnap people? If it is professor you want to kidnap, go to Ekiti. But if it is rich people you want to kidnap, how many rich people do you have in Ekiti? That's an apology to the Ekiti people. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, why do you have to take kidnapping to that particular place? Even the KBAC that were killed, how much money do they have? Now, there are others in Lagos they don't kidnap them. There are other, there are people in the in the in the in the uh, metropolitan cities they are not kidnapping them. It is Kogi you want to go and uh, kidnap. Uh, God have mercy. Praise God. Apology to Kogi people. Shout Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. But that is to tell you, evil has no location. It can happen anywhere, and that's why you must learn to defend your territory. Now the young child children you know going to nursery and primary school you know in that uh, in Poro or whatever what type of equity is that praise god now are you following me how much do they pay in that school i can tell you the school fees in that school cannot be more than fifteen thousand naira. you know per time are you getting my point now now you want to you kidnap children that are paying fifteen thousand. so you know how much do you want to get from their parents as a ransom that is to tell you that when the devil is plotting his evil he has his reasons it may think it is because of money all right now the devil just want to waste life john 10 10 said the thief cometh not but to steal to kill and to destroy some people when they are doing wickedly they are happy that satisfies them the fact that they can make people to weep to cry they are okay whether they get money out of it or they don't get money out of it what the devil has programmed in their heart to carry out if they carry it out they are pleased their master they are pleased their uh, you know people that sent them and they are happy may i pray for you that every evil that is being planned against you will not succeed anyone that hates you and is plotting against you secretly or whosoever is reporting you reporting you to evil people you know there are times the people begin to report you begin to talk about you is that not so they will begin to say and say hey, ah, so ah, mama your daughter-in-law did that to you She's supposed to be punished. Eh? He's supposed to punish. I know you are kind. You are nice. Eh? We will help you to, to spank her. Spank, to spank her. And the mama is the innocent. She does not understand. Just for that. Ah, hey, 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 Jeff, Jeff, you see that? Talking that to spank or to. If you, have label, you know? To rebuke or to correct her. Eh? Thinking that it is ordinary words they are talking about. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, they, she doesn't understand. She's naive. She's not. She does not. She didn't actually mean evil. But she expressing her pain, you know, to her friend. I said, don't worry. I know you are gentle. Eh? There is no daughter-in-law that can do such things to me. Eh? We will help you. We will help you to, you know, to, re, to deal. To, no, it was a deal. To rebuke her. And say, let's just leave her. God will change her. You have reported your daughter-in-law or your son-in-law to an evil person. They will take it to the evil altar. They say, we want to defend our friend. Say, my friend, there is something suffering. She's suffering something now. Eh? Somebody is bullshitting her. Um, praise god and so because of that we want to we want you to help you know to 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 to, to correct to, to to spank such a person so evil spread in different ways and different manner ama wanted to destroy bodekai but by extension he decided to destroy the whole jews and because he was the right hand man to the king in a very subtle way, he was able to get, you know, the authority of the king. 
and the king have signed it and sealed it with his ring. And by that sealing, it cannot be vacated. Hallelujah. And so also, they, 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 uh, and, uh, uh, Mordecai said, don't think Esther, you'll be saving the palace. And when she saw the reality, that's why information is key. At times you think everything is alright. That's why you come to church, you hear. My prayer is that when you hear me, you hear correctly. Because some people come to church, they hear, they don't hear anything. They don't get the revelation. They don't understand what God is saying. And so, but thank God for Esther. She was able to understand what the uncle is saying. The interpretation of the problem at hand. And now said, I will please fast for me. I will gather my own, you know, servants that are waiting on me. They, we are going to fast. For three days, three nights, no food, we will begin to fast. And after that, I will go into the king. Which is against custom. Which is against the law. If I perish, I perish. Let me tell you. Until... You find something worthy to die for. Then you are not worthy to live. Many a times we are too fearful. We are afraid. The steps we are supposed to take will not take. The battle we are supposed to confront. We are not going to confront. Because we cannot. We are not strong spiritually. We thought that everything will take shape. It's a matter of time. It is not true. Some people said that everything will be alright. Everything will be alright. And they have been in that problem for 15, 20 years. It has never been alright. Because what they are supposed to do, they are not doing it. And the enemy will continue to top it with their own oil, with their own fire. And the problem will be continue to increase. Continue to increase. Hallelujah. But Esther said, I will go unto the king, Esther 4, 16, which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. Now, you see, we get to a point, three times like this, in our fasting and prayer, we confront battles. But one thing that is certain is that, you see, Esther, maybe because she's a young lady, she, did, she would have understood that the covenant of God, Israel cannot be exterminated. You understand what I'm saying now? They are the people of God. Let me tell you the good news that nobody can kill you. I said nobody can kill you. How do I know? The Bible tells me your life. Somebody said my life. Say Lord, my life. Is hid in Christ. And Christ in God. In other words. My life is kept inside Christ. And Christ is inside God. That's what the Bible says. For we are kept by the power of God. Through faith. We are kept by the power of God. One of the things God deliver us from when we give our life to Christ is the fear of death. I think I said it last week. I said, oh no, I was preaching somewhere. I said, now, what kill people? Fear of death kill people more than death itself. Anybody that is already dead as a result of fear of death, you know, it's going to be a walkover for the spirit of death. Why are you afraid? Some people, hey, I don't want to die. You know, the prayer of children. You know, when you say children should pray. God, I, we don't, I don't want to die. Don't let my mommy die. Let my daddy die. Don't let us die. That is, that is to tell you that there is a fear of death programmed in the heart of every man. Don't sleep. Tell your neighbor, don't sleep. There is a program of fear of death. And that's why the little children, the first prayer, they know how to pray. God, don't let my mommy die. Don't let my father, my daddy die. Don't let me die. It means God, there is a fear of death. But if you are a child of God, your life is kept in Christ Jesus. The evil one cannot touch you if you know your rights. If you are strengthened, if you are a carrier of God's power, there is no power of darkness that can mess you around. If they plan it, that law will be vacated. 
If they decree it, that decree will be vacated. And I pray for you today, whatever the enemy has designed, has put in place over your life, every evil decree, I reverse. You don't understand. It is reversed in the name of Jesus Christ. You must understand that God is committed to his people. God is committed to his children. And you know the rest of that story. If you go to chapter 5. Ero buburu ti hamani gba lori mo de kai gbogbo re lo dasan ise gun lo yori si ero buburu ta mani gba lori mo de kai o lo yori Ton wa fe jo mi suwo, te jere ni koro baba, ko fi da mi la. Mo ni be mi o kun kun ba para po, ba wa fe jo mi suwo. Ah, te jere ni ki oro baba, ko fi da mi la. Ni tori na, olonu ibala, boka di o, olonu iwosa. Oke pe o baba bina mani o kun kun a je ko le pori opon ni o agara satani atomo gure ba ni so da so kole kon si a olorun ikala o si sa di o olorun iwo san oke pe o baba a je Hallelujah! Those are the evergreen songs of people when they people that go into the scripture who prayed our songs. Not all the jupa juice. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You can see that song has been sung since eighties. It's still fresh. Praise God. Shout hallelujah. That is what happened. And that is what God is going to do for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. At the end of the day. The gallow. That Haman raised. To hang Mordecai. He was the one that was hung on that you know, gallow. Your enemy will make mistakes. In the name of Jesus Christ. But I'm talking about vacating satanic what? Order. Or reversing evil decrees. Praise God. Look at chapter uh, 8. Esther chapter 8. Verse 5. We'll soon pray. Said, and said, that was Esther. You know, after Mordecai has been killed, don't forget there is a decree that has been enacted. The fact that Mordecai was killed, was hung on the gallow, that did not mean that the extermination of the Jews on the day that has been programmed will not be, will not be carried out. Because the law does not change. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, many people, you know, they say, well, why are we praying? God is not hard. You know, all this prayer, we should not pray, you know, everything not right. Now you say everything is good. Ah, la, 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 la. They will speak in you know, speaking grammar. The people don't know grammar, no. Demons don't invite your grammar, we anoint them the more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are called to be fighters. You can't be a Christian without being a fighter. Because 
The Bible tells us, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It is in the Bible that is we are fighting. And it is not just human being that you are fighting. No, the spirit that is operating inside that human being. So we are fighting again. We are not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. Fighting is part of what we are called to do. For the kingdom of God to expand on the surface of the earth, some people must be ready to fight. Hallelujah. And that's why you see, you must learn to be an intercessor. You must be a prayer warrior praying for the advancement of the kingdom. You know, it is not enough to pray, God give me this, God give me that. It is alright. Hallelujah. But you must learn to pray, God let our church grow. Let our church expand. Let more people be saved. That is a prayer that advances the kingdom of God. And when you see people that are praying that way, let me tell you, it is there is an insurance policy over their life. Intercessor don't just die. Somebody hear me? Intercessor don't die cheaply. If you want your life to be prolonged, learn to intercede. Pray for the advancement of the kingdom. Pray for souls to be saved. Stand in the gap. Let righteousness reign over Nigeria. Let righteousness reign over this country. Begin to pray. God, put an end to corruption. Let the glory of this stand, you know, let it come up. Let Jesus reign in this country. When you hear news of what is happening in nations of the world, begin to pray. When you are praying that prayer, your life is secured. Shout hallelujah. In the book of Luke chapter 2, when Jesus was brought to the temple, remember? He was brought to the temple. The Bible said there was a man called Simeon. Simeon was old and stricken in age. But the Holy Spirit has told him. God had told him that he will not see dead until he sees Jesus. Until he sees the, until he sees the redemption of Israel. That is the coming, the promise of Jesus. And the Bible says he was going to the temple every day, fasting and praying, you know, interceding for the redemption of Israel. God, remember your people, what you have said concerning the Jews, God Almighty, with all this, Messiah, let the Messiah come. Let the Messiah come. Let the Messiah come. As long as the Messiah has not come, the life of Simeon was what? Preserved. As long as the Messiah has not come, read me know, this man was alive because he was an intercessor. He was a man who is pregnant with an information and this man was expecting the redemption of Israel, the redemption of his people. And the Bible's going to the temple just like the normal routine. Hey, let me tell you, in your normal prayer time, don't you must have prayer time oh. Don't live a zigzag great life. In this morning now, we learned about time management. Is that not so? Eh? You must have the time you wake up to pray. It is not that uh, any time. Mm. There must be a time. I talked about altar last week. Is that not so? There must be an altar that is raised where you meet with God. Your family altar, bring your children at a particular time. Your personal altar, time you pray to commune with God. Create a time. So this man, in the Sishua, he came to the temple. At that particular time, the time he used to come, he came to the temple. He did not know that his prayer has been answered. Somebody hearing me? That eight days ago, his prayer has been answered. You know when you read the bible stories all that happened hey, the wise men they saw the star and the whatever i uh, you know they you know they, they, they know the wise men they saw star and the star was shining and they the star led them you remember the story some people are sleeping this morning are you there please they saw the shepherd they saw the star and things like that you think that the whole israel had the story of what happened that day you think that everybody heard about it. They asked the hand time to the, to, the, to the Herod's palace. You think that everybody heard about it? 
Simeon was in Jerusalem. He did not hear. He did not hear. But on that eighth, after Jesus was eight day old, brought to the temple for circumcision according to the custom of the Jews. But this man coincidentally that's what you will call it no but by divine arrangement he was coming for his normal observation amen and he saw jesus nobody introduced jesus to him when he saw mary he stretched his hand he knew that this is the messiah angel announced messiah to some people is that not so shepherd had information about messiah praise god but by his relationship with god when he saw he knew that this is the messiah i've been waiting for what did he say and simeon blessed them and said unto mary his mother behold this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in israel and for a sign we shall be spoken go to verse 2 i mean, I mean previous verse what did he say first? Hallelujah. When he carried the baby. Are you giving that? No. Look at verse 30. Go to verse 31. He said, now Lord, let your servant what? Depart in peace. Let your servant depart in peace. Before you begin to say this. He said, let, now let your servant depart in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation. Now I can go. I'm ready to go. Amen. Let me tell you, if you are pregnant for something that has to do with the kingdom, you will not die until you see that happen. Hello? When God was talking concerning Zerubbabel, he says that it is not by power. Zechariah was one talking to you know, Zerubbabel nor power nor by might but by the spirit of the lord that the hand of zerubbabel has started this house zerubbabel will accomplish it say amen i just say amen anytime you want to prolong your life continue to have something ahead that you are praying for that gladdens the heart of god is somebody getting it you get it look at this building now all of us we cannot die we will build this building together do you believe that it is a vision of the kingdom we are going to see it and uh, you know before we finish that one another thing will be waiting another thing will be waiting to expand the kingdom of god and as we are praying you know for jesus light to shine around the world your life will be preserved why god don't have too many intercessors Many people going to Rioke, going to Mount, yeah, it is consume, consumer, they are consumers. Just God, give me, give me, ah, give me, give me the contract, give me the project. Oh God, do this, oh God, do that. They are just, they are not mindful of the kingdom. If God even gives them, they are not ready to use it for the kingdom. Hallelujah. Just like yesterday, the Lord gave me a word that those that two people here god want to surprise you supernaturally beyond your imagination you will go to places but you must make a covenant that when god visits you you will continually be faithful to the church you will continually be faithful you know to the kingdom you continually you know knowing that the greatness god is going to move our work you know he's going to move the church of god he's going to be faithful to god's servant is somebody hearing me because there are a lot of charlatans in the church who want to collect god's blessing and just run away why you not say we want to do so and so and say ah, 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 let everybody contribute can you see you have you have opportunity to draw five hundred thousand, and what is needed is seven hundred thousand. And he said, let everybody contribute now. And um, we can contribute 10,000. 10, can draw 50,000. 50, and God has blessed you that you can drop that amount. Shout hallelujah. I said, shout hallelujah. How 
do we run the ministry? Amen. There are people that when they hear, they are ready to give. Very soon they will ask, oh, convocation is coming, convention is coming, come and donate. Hey, this and that. They can say, uh, buy me men, 10,000, 10, uh, 5,000. And here you are. You can drop 50,000. You can drop 100,000. Say, yeah, well, ah, at least I have paid my own. And you begin to supervise the others. Others that have not paid, they should pay now. They should pay now. They should pay now. When God has done great things in your life that you can even drop 500,000. It may be a sacrifice that you are dropping. Hallelujah. And that this is what people have been doing that is making this work to get to where it is. It is not Titan offering. Do you hear what I'm saying? It is not Titan offering. Over the years, first very years, they tried, I mean, the like, honorarium we give to ministers that come is not less than 300,000. Praise God. 200, 300,000 or more. And we have somebody who has been committed paying that every year. That is not 10,000 naira, you know, contribution of uh, men or of, of women. Amen. But when people understand the kingdom and your heart is there, it is one of the conditions that God will pro prolong your life. If God blesses you, it is not, yes, now I want to change my car. I now have this car. I buy another one. I want to make statement so that everybody will know that I have arrived. Then you have shifted ground. It is no longer for God. It is for self. God is not glorifying that. So if I buy that, at least God will be glorified. No, God know the, 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 the idol in your heart is not about him. It is about yourself. It's about your ego. So, but for those who are mindful of the kingdom, God is ready to raise them. And I said the Lord is going to raise you this year. I said God will raise you this year. So Esther went to the king. And said look. There is an order. There is a decree. This decree that all Jews should be killed on one day. Let it be vacated. Are you listening to me? Let it be vacated. That was the plea of Esther. Look at verse. Um, verse 5. And said. If it please the king, and if I have found favor in his sight, and the thing seem right before the king, and I be pleasing in his eyes, let it be written. Can you get it now? Praise the Lord. Can everybody stand up? Everybody stand up. We will read that place together. Amen. Amen. But before you read, let me finish what I'm reading. He says, and, and I please, pleasing in his eyes, let it be written to reverse the letter devised by Amman, the son of Amadeta, the Gagagarai, Agagite, which he wrote to destroy the Jews, which are in all the king's promises. For how can I endure to see the evil that shall come up upon my people? And how can I endure to see the destruction? Of my kindred. Verse 7. I want you to read now from verse 7. Want to go? Media, are you there? Verse 7. Media, verse 7. Want to go? Then the king Asherah said unto Esther, the queen, and to Mordecai, the Jew, Behold, I have given Esther the house of Haman, and him they have hung upon the gallows, because he lay his hand upon the Jews. The next scripture, what does it say? Write ye also for the Jews, as it liketh you in the king's name, and seal it with the king's ring. For the writing which is written in the king's name, and sealed with the king's ring, may no man be bad. Sit down. Do you get it now? There was a decree, and it has been sealed, and a day. Of destruction is waiting for the Jews. And Esther was now begging and said, King, please now, I am your wife. I don't want to see the Jews destroy. Yeah, you know, this and, that. and the king said, it is not like that. Somebody wrote a decree that they should destroy you. Go and write your own. 
reverse what has been written and write your own how many of you want to revive what the enemy has written this morning how many of you are ready you are going to reverse you are going to vacate that order you are going to vacate that course you are going to vacate that law you are going to write your own you are going to prophesy what you want it to be hallelujah he said that and seal it with the king's ring it is the authority when you call upon god in the name of jesus whatever has been written against you will be vacated it shall be cancelled but wait it is not only to reverse look at what's the next thing he now said write as you like when he had a write what you want now look at verse 9 look at verse 9 praise the lord then where the king scribe caught oh my dad can you met all it is good for you to understand when esther had that amodekai what did they do they command because now status of Mordecai has even changed. Praise God. They call all the kings, scribes. Come. Those who wrote the evil that Amma asked them to write. Have you? They call them and say, yeah, come. Then what the king's scribes call at that time in the third month. That is the month of Sivan. On the three and twenty day thereof. And it was written how it was written according to all that Mordecai commanded amen it was written according to how it commanded unto the jews and to the lieutenants and the deputies and rulers of the provinces which were from india unto ethiopia and hundred and what 27 provinces let me stop there can you see one around 27 provinces where Jews are? It has been decided they should all be exterminated one day. But when somebody understood what he has to do, he reversed the order. And he now wrote. And they sent it to all the lieutenants, all the all the people, province heads, and things like that. If you read that story very well, the Bible says when the Jews began to see that letter there was joy give me that that, that, that scripture you know go to, go to the verse 11 the bible said they have to run you know and he wrote in the king's Azeroth's name and seal it and they have to tell take the letter quick 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 wherein the king granted the jews which were in every city to gather themselves together and to stand for their life we are in this fasting and prayer we are gathering ourselves together to stand for our life to stand for our families to stand for you know and also to destroy to slay and to cause to perish all the power of the people and promise that will assault them from today anybody that assault you heaven shall fight against them by your decree by your authority as you vacate all the order upon your life you must establish a new order he said both their wants and children to take the spoil of them for spray that is anybody that rise against you destroy them and take their properties mm. or one day in all the provinces of the answer was now give you the next verse what did he say i want you all to see the copy of the writing for commandment to be given in every province was published unto people and that the Jews should be ready against that day to avenge themselves of the enemy. What's the next thing that said there? So the post that wrote upon Moses and Carmen went out, being hastened and pressed on by the king's commandment and the decree was given at Shushan the pass. And Monica went out from the presence of the king. In Goya Apparel. <laughs> Your status is changing. You know? In Goya Apparel. The man was a gate man before. He came out now in royal apparel because he has taken over the office of uh, a man, you know, of blue and white with a great crown of gold and with a garment of fine linen, you know, and purple. And the city of Sushan rejoiced and I was glad. Ha, go. I can see God doing something in your life. Get man yesterday, 
next to the king. Too. Is that a supernatural? Supernatural exchange. Supernatural evolution. Supernatural lifting. God changed the story. You see, Bible story are not just written for story. The Bible says all that are written, they are written for our name. That we may receive the comfort of the scriptures. What God has done, Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. Our God is the Almighty. He has not changed. What He has done in this past, He can do it now. Hello? One day, one day, I say one day, you will speak. You will wake up the next day, your, your status will change. That the God discovered that ah, I cannot operate in shallow water again. I want to operate in the deep water. Hello? That they will bring contract of 20 million and make him over everything. They made it. Give it to people. 50 million. Praise God. Because your hand is full. You are still containing how to, to feed 500 million, 1 billion, and say, let, let, let other people breathe. Let the poor, let them also breathe. Praise God. Now, hallelujah. Because your status has changed. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I told you a long time ago, I said, there is limited liability company, and there is unlimited. Hello? Some of you, limited, limited. I want to grow the limited, they have come to unlimited. Praise God. You deliver now is unlimited. There is no way to say it's limited. Limited means that this is how much money I can handle in business. You know, people don't know. They will say, What is your share holding capacity? Plenty? And you wrote one million there. If they want to do it, because thank God that they can favor can open up for you. But the normal thing is that if you are looking for a contract of 50 million, they should not give it to you. Because you have said that my capability, what I can handle, is one million. But some people they have gone beyond billion. They are now unlimited. They are saying anything, business, any amount of money, because they can source money from America. Is that not so? In dollars to execute contract in Nigeria. You don't know people are getting money from bank Abi, in Europe, in America to do contract they want to do in any part of the world. Our God is Jehovah Unlimited. Right Our God is Jehovah Unlimited. There is nothing God cannot do. Hallelujah. We have three minutes to pray this morning again to end this uh, session. I want you to pray. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to pray. The first prayer we're going to pray this morning is that God anoint my eyes to see. God anoint my ears to hear. God, anoint my leg to take me to where I need to go. You understand know that? And God, anoint my heart to perceive. If Esther did not hear God, there is nothing he would have achieved that little bit. But if you pray that prayer, you are going to see that God will show forth in your life. And somebody look up his hand and say, Father, Father, Anoint my ears to hear, anoint my eyes to see, anoint my heart to perceive, anoint my leg to move in the right direction. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this year, Lord. Let me see what I need to see. Let me see the opportunities that is waiting for me. Let me hear good news of what is waiting for me. The opportunity, the breakthrough that can move my life forward, Lord, let me hear. Let me see. Let my heart understand. Let my heart understand. Let my heart understand. Let my heart understand. And Lord, anoint my legs. Let my feet take me to where I need to go. That I will not walk anyhow. I will walk into my destiny. 
I will walk into purpose. I will walk into your will. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray by prayer. In Jesus' name of prayer. Can somebody pray and say, Father, shout it, Father, I reverse every evil decree against my life, against my family, this year and beyond. Oh, you are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has been written in the kingdom of darkness, I cancel it. I vacate that decree. I vacate that order. Every satanic order. God, I cancel it today. Lord, I, I reverse every evil decree. It shall not be so. Every evil plan against my destiny, against my peace, against my war. I can... I can, I can, I can, in the name of Jesus, I can, by the blood of Jesus, I can, I vacate every order, every decree that has been made in the kingdom of darkness concerning my life. I vacate that order. I vacate it in the name of Jesus. Now, how much you can pray? Those that are, you know, talking about me, taking my matter into the hands of my enemy. Father, in the name of Jesus, I judge them today. Whatever they say will not come to pass. I cancel every decree. I vacate such order. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Your prayer must carry fire. It is not a joke. That decree cannot be vacated easily. And I'm not saying beg. You are not begging now. You are praying the prayer of authority. Right? When Esther was begging, King said, no, 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 no. It is because you are a stranger. It is because you are just a queen. You don't understand the law that is on ground. A decree has been made and you are begging. There is not anybody can. You go and make your own. <laughs> How many of you want to make your decree this morning? The first thing I say, you still pray. Come up, first of us pray that every law, every decree operating against my life for a very long time, every decision that is made in the kingdom of darkness, I will overturn it. I will overturn it. I cancel it. What they have said will not stand. I take authority. Oh, you pray in the name of Jesus. Untimely death that is written against me this year. I overturn it. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I will not lose any member of my family. You better pray. Take authority. Every agreement, every meeting going on, every evil plan, I cancel it. I reverse it. I decree. It shall not stand. Bogbo, you know. 
gbogbo ipade lori aye mi lori ebi mi ko ni duro imo ti mo ko gbodo jo loruko jesu ete kete ko gbodo duro gbogbo akosile ibi nipa je jesu mo pare Every evil and writing against my life, against my wife and children and household, against all the members of this church, I reverse it. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus Christ. He shall not stand against any member of my extended family. Every evil decision. Every 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 decree of death, every decree of loss, every decree of destruction, I can sway by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, he shall not stand. Jesus name we pray. Hold the hand of somebody. Help somebody. Don't hold the other hand. Hold the hand of somebody. You are going to pray. Hello? You are going to say. Say my father. In the name of Jesus. All the expectations of the wicked. Over my life. And this, my friend, all the expectation of the wicked perish now. Come on, pray in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Over his life, over his family, over his business, all the expectation of the wicked perish now. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. In Jesus name we pray. You pray once again for yourself and your friend. Say my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every conclusion. In the kingdom of darkness. Concerning our lives. I cancel. By the blood of Jesus. Come on pray. Pray for your part in the name of Jesus Christ.
In Jesus' name we pray. Leave that person pray for yourself now. Say, my father, my father, I rewrite a new destiny story, a new breakthrough, a new success concerning every aspect of my life. I write life. I write breakthrough. I write breakthrough. I write sources. Everything you want God to do for you. Then we'll pray. In Ezekiel chapter 21, Ezekiel chapter 21, he says, I will overturn. 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 You know, that's what that scripture is saying is that you don't stop making declaration on the state of the God said, this is what I want to do. One blind man met Jesus. And Jesus anointed his eyes. And uh, maybe I think that you go and wash. And when he came. And no, you anointed his eyes. And Jesus said, what do you see? What did he say? He said, I saw men walking like trees. Who are the men you love? So when you see men walking like this, so if you carry from last one, you'll be caught in the head. But the question there is that there are people that Jesus anoint their eyes once when they get to see. But you see, that is to tell you that there are situations that need extra attention. When you saw that, the Bible said that Jesus did not say, okay, you can go. After all, you can see now. You can see something. Jesus anointed his eyes the second time. He now said, I can see it here. I don't know where over time is. We have seen some good things. It is better than last year. Or it's better than 2022. But you are not there yet. But God said, I will overturn. You are at the level. He said, I will overturn. The Lord said, I will overturn. And what? He now says, it, it and it shall be no more. Whatever the enemy has put in place shall be no more. Amen. Say, Until it come, whose right it is, and I will give it. Hello? I don't want us to stay long. Normally, we used to come every evening, we, we, we pray around the altar. Is that also? Yes, sir. But because we are too many, we can't. But well, you are going to stretch your hand to the altar. That this altar must speak to you. Where were you? God of us, you are you said, come in, you overturn. You overturn. Lord, begin to overturn. Whatever is occupying my space, overturn. Whatever change that I'm here to see, God, change situation, overturn, overturn. Ah, God, it is my own. 
It is my turn, Lord, give it to me. What is that thing you want, God? You tell God, oh Lord, begin to overturn. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray. God say, you will overturn. I want you to pray that prayer. God, begin to overturn. I am not there yet, oh God. Overturn, overturn. Until I get my position. Until I get to my rightful place. Until I get to my rightful place. Let this altar speak to my life. Let this altar, the fire on this altar, Cause a change, cause an overturning. I will overturn. God said, I will overturn. I will overturn. God, overturn. I am not there yet. Overturn. Whatever is occupying my place, overturn. Whatever is taking my place over time. It is my turn, O oh Lord, to take over. Lord, hand it over to me, Lord. Let my miracle. In Jesus' name we pray. It was just a space of 24 hours that changed the position of Mordecai as a gate man to become the prime minister. It is not only Joseph that is a prime minister in Egypt. This man also was a prime minister. He was the next to the king. Hallelujah. Because he also possessed the seal of God. You can see what we read there. But he came out of the royal apparel. With, with every crown of gold on his head. The man who was a gate man yesterday, God will change your story. I want you to stretch your hand to this altar again. Because the altar, when we talk about altar, kept on, you know, church is a place to educate us. Amen. It is not just this place. Amen. It is what this place represents. This place represents the altar of the cross of Calvary. Jesus was crucified on the altar. On a hill far away. I mean, through the whole rugged cross, it was an altar. And this is what every church altar represents. So when I say stretch out your hand, you are stretching your hand to the altar of Calvary. You understand that? Yes, you are saying, Lord, Calvary must answer for me. All that Jesus Christ has done, it must answer for me. You are not saying that God, you that did it, God, let there be a supernatural turnaround, a supernatural elevation. And it will not take long before God change your story. It's not a matter of months. That of Mordecai did not take months. It was an overnight thing. That of Joseph was not dear, dear. It was an overnight thing. Is that also? He came in as a prisoner and he left as a prime minister. Say, Father, my Father, my Father, by the reason of the altar of Calvary, Lord, change my story. Supernatural accomplishment. Supernatural turn around. Come on, claim it in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, change my story. Lord, do it all supernatural. In Jesus' name, 
started to go to follow instruction. As the instruction God gave to me, but I know that all of us cannot come to the altar. But God gave me an instruction me what to do. But I just I can feel that they do it because of my God reminds me what he has to do. He will hold the hand of someone. Somebody will hold the hand of someone. All this my pastors I want to learn of them. Somebody hear me? Pastors, ministers also can join, line up, line in front of the people. So long, there's no back there, back there, face here. Are you little? Are you falling? Are you more ministers in the house? Let's have more of you. Okay. Hold the hand of some. Somebody that is close to any of these people. Put your hands on their on their on their on their on their. I don't know how you mention us. Yeah. Somebody she does is not being connection, is a shape. Children, John, 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 John. And I hate the day the hand of somebody, join hands, those of you ministers, join hands also. But that boy should go to the back. Yeah. yeah. It is. Are you getting okay this? Yes, sir. I don't want to break. I want to make this. Did they come here from the news? It's time to come here. I want to join hands. I want to be sure that as you are joining hands, the hand of someone that has touched all these ministers in the church. Is that right? Yes, sir. That shows that there is a kind of a transfer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. This is the point. Do you want to act in God? Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, as you have commanded me, so I have done. Because it's a prophetic prayer, prophetic time. Lord, we are all joining our hands. And as I stretch my hand to the altar, I heard that the fire. From the altar of God, the fire from the cross of Calvary, the altar of the cross of Calvary, let there be a transfer of this fire in the name of Jesus. I decree in the name of Jesus, whatsoever is operating against the life of anyone here, Whatsoever may be the decree that has been made. Whatsoever may be the attack that has been released. Against every life here. By the altar. Let the fire from the altar consume such in the name of Jesus. I decree, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of the Holy Spirit. Visit every destiny. Visit every life. Visit every destiny. Visit every life. God that did it for Mordecai in 24 hours. God who did it for Joseph in 24 hours. I said today, let there be an overturning. That between the today and tomorrow, whatever is concluded in the reign of the spirit against your life is vacated. It is reversed. Amen. And we write a new decree. Amen. I say a decree of prosperity. Amen. A decree of wonder. Amen. A decree of success. Amen. A decree of long life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By the altar of the cross of Calvary. The blood of Jesus flow. And Lord Jehovah and begin to cleanse every life and destiny in the name of Jesus. 
It's our year of the supernatural. I decree supernatural elevation. I decree supernatural accomplishment. Supernatural accomplishment. Supernatural intervention. Supernatural overturning. Supernatural repositioning. Supernatural help. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In all our centers, in our churches, Father, we release fresh fire. Fire of revival. In the name of Jesus. Let there be the fullness of the Spirit. Thank you, Lord. For you have answered. In Jesus' name. And the people of God shall seven amen. I wish you had the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, God's goodness and mercy have followed us all the days of our life. So the of our Lord. Amen. God bless you. Congratulations.